Our spotlight on music gives us a sampling of a local holiday classic. Yeah, the Dudley Berta Corral Holiday Pops concert is coming up. Ken Paulson is here with the rundown, and he brought a choir. Well, part of a choir. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> All right, we're going to get a song in a minute, but Kent, let's just talk about how amazing this yearly show is. It's really become a tradition for a lot of families. It, it's a great uh, tradition, and it's really a community celebration. We have 160 voices of the of the adults of the uh, Dudley Birder Chorale at St. Norbert College. Mm -hmm. We have 60 of beautiful children's voices from the Birder Studio of Performing Arts. And uh, new we added last year, we have ballet dancers. Mm -hmm. Um, and we have a full professional symphony, many that used to play with the Green Bay Symphony. Yes. Um, so it's really a community celebration. We have great Christmas classics, some traditionals like O Come All Ye Faithful and Silent Night and Hark the Herald Angels Sing. And then we have some contemporary uh, new pieces like Rudolph, Frosty and Susie and uh, some Trans-Siberian Orchestra music. It's really going to be a great celebration. We have about 250, 300 people on stage. We oh. fill the Widener. And uh, even though the weather forecast talked about snow, inside at the Widener, it's going to be warm and cheery. <laughs> in a season that sometimes gets hustly and bustly, why is it important to take an evening like this? Well, we really believe that the arts are just so crucial to everybody. It gives a chance to say that everyone's voice is important, everyone's voice can be heard, and that when we work together and bring our voices together, we can achieve harmony. Mm, I like that. Thank you. <laughs> we're, we're getting giggles back here. <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit about the level of talent that is on the stage. I mean, you mentioned, you know, some of the symphony players, but I mean, the chorale itself is really amazing. The chorale is, yeah, it's, it's a fantastic group. They've been around for about 47 years. Uh, so obviously started well before I was born. Well, yes, well, many years. Maybe not. <laughs> um, and so, you know, there's that Christmas carol. And so I'm offering you that special wish for kids from 1 to 92. Mm -hmm. Really, we go from about 4 to 89, but we're pretty close. So there's just a tremendous amount of talent. People drive from Sturgeon Bay and Door County and Appleton and Oshkosh and all over. And just people that love to sing together and love to make music together. And for the kids to get to perform with adult singers, how does that help them see music as a lifelong passion? Well, it helps them understand that from whatever age you are and whatever level that you commit to, that the arts and singing and dancing and performing are just such an important part of helping you to find who you are and what value you have and that your voice should be heard. So let's talk a little bit about um, ages. I mean, anyone of any age can attend the show and they'll be entertained, Absolutely. even the young ones. It's family friendly. We have a Friday evening show and a Saturday afternoon show. So if you don't want to be driving out late or if you have to get the kids to bed, you can come to the Saturday afternoon show. Uh, we have uh, some classic music, we have some symphony music, but we also have some contemporary things that sound like a big jazz band and a jazz <laughs> choir. And I understand that possibly the man in the red suit might make an appearance. I was going to ask that, but I didn't want to put you on the spot there. Well, mm -hmm. it turns out a lot of these people are on the good list. Me, oh. not so much. <laughs> so we're not sure. Um, so uh, Santa might make an appearance at the uh, show. Well, you have time to, you know, up your game, Kent. Okay? Yeah, it's, it's going to take quite a bit of work, but I'm, I'm working at it. I'd imagine this is a tradition for a lot of families, not only those who are on stage, but in the audience as well. Absolutely. And in fact, we have now... Uh, adult singing in the chorale that started as oh, cool. little kids huh. in Birder uh, Studio when they were younger. So it kind of progressed all the way through. So, Gosh, what's the preparation like? Uh, well, usually I begin about December 26th <laughs> taking notes for next year. Uh, and then we start rehearsing in November. Um, and some of the kids begin their rehearsals in September along with all of their other music that they're preparing. Well, we can't wait here sampling, and we're going to get that now. Fantastic. Watch your screen for details on the where's, when's, tickets, all that good stuff. And this is Trans-Siberian Orchestra's Christmas Canon. Mm -hmm. 